Hi everybody, this is a quick video just to go over how to use the chemical peels. So I'll go over the three different kinds that we're selling, so just keep an eye out for which one you've actually purchased. First of all, you need to start off with a clean face, so I'm just going to do that now, go and cleanse my face. So remember to always make sure you double cleanse if you've got makeup on as well. Okay, so my face is all clean now. So the first peel that we're going to do is the sensitive peel. So this is our enzyme peel, so it's really natural. It's not going to irritate. So if you have got that really sensitive skin that's really sensitive to any products, any facial products, any makeup, anything like that, then this is the perfect product for you. So you don't need a lot of it. So it will come in a wee pot and just scoop it a little bit. Just a small amount, just like that. And literally just pop it on your face and go down to your neck as well. So this peel you need to massage in. So you just rub it all into your skin. Really work on any of those areas that you find that are you're really dry. And while you're rubbing in, you'll notice it gets all these wee little bits. And that actually is your dead skin. So I was using strong retinols um, and really strong acids the other day and then it was really hot outside um, and I was sunbathing so I actually really badly burnt myself. I'll put in a wee photo just to show you what it was like and it was just more or less from the sun and using two strong products. So I will be quite dry down here. And that's why I've not done this video earlier because I couldn't put any more acids on my face. So really, really rubbing it in, really concentrate on those areas. You can go right over your eyebrows, over everywhere. I'm just not going to go over mine because I tattooed them. Really work into your nose. And down your neck. And this one's amazing peel for anybody. Like I absolutely love it because it just literally gets all your dead skin off. We do this peel in our derma planning treatment as well. So there we go. Now it's all dead skin. And I use acids daily on my face. So it just shows you, you still always have loads of dead skin. So what you can do is you can leave this on for a few minutes as well if you want. And then just wash it off. But you have to make sure when you put this peel on, make sure your face is dry. Because if you put it on to wet skin, it won't get, it won't lift everything up. So just make sure your skin is clean and, and dry before you actually put the peel on. So with your enzyme peel, you can use that as much as you want. You can use it every day if you really want to. Um, there's not any harsh chemicals in it. There's not any acids in it. So you can use it as frequently as you want. And honestly, your skin will just feel so so clean and um, smoother and um, all that dead skin will be gone so it's really good for people that have dry skin as well. So the next peel we want to talk about is the all rounder peel. So this is a lactic acid based peel so it's amazing for everyone that's got pigmentation, scarring, um, if you've got drying, if you just want to improve your skin tone, texture, everything. It's amazing and um, brilliant for everything. So in your kit you will get your wee peel you will get your neutralizer and you are going to get gauze as well, okay? So what you need to do is make sure your face is clean again, dry it off. And then if you do have any sensitive areas, so any really dry patches, um, any broken skin, so any spots that are actually maybe open, anything like that, then what to do is pop some Vaseline on them. Same with eyebrows, um, if you've had them tattooed then pop it on as well. What it is, it's just protecting that area um, just so the peel doesn't penetrate actually into the skin. Um, if you are quite sensitive around the nose area, you can pop it around there as well. Just see how it is. Um, you can remove it earlier if you need to as well. Okay, so I want you to get the bottle that's got your name on it and says chemical peel. That is your chemical peel bottle. Your other bottle that's not got anything on it, that is your neutralizer, okay? So you take your bit of gauze, I always just fold mine into a little bit, open up your peel and then just pour a little bit on, okay? You don't need a lot, just a little bit. And then all you're going to do is swipe across your face. So with lactic acid you will get some tingling, everyone's skin's different. 
my skin's quite used to using acids so sometimes I can feel it more than others depending on what I've been using but you will feel it more like I always feel it more around my mouth so what this is going to do is exfoliate to your skin deeply so what our acids are doing is they're actually penetrating deep into the skin rather than just sitting on top first peel that one more removes the dead skin that's on the surface rather than these ones and um, which are actually going to penetrate deeper in what is what's good is the first one is actually going to remove all that dead skin so your like acid peels are actually going to instead of fighting for all this dead skin first there is just going to go absorbed straight deep into the layers of the skin so yeah you'll feel it tingling so what to do you can leave it on for a few minutes the first time just see how your skin is um, and if you feel like it's fine you can actually take a little bit more and pop another wee layer on so you can do this maybe three layers so you can see i've got a wee break out here it's kind of dried out so this is going to help with that as well so everyone's skin's different you might get some redness appearing that's completely normal as well so once you've left it on for a few minutes or you can leave it on longer depending on how your skin handles it i would say for the first time just don't leave it on too long then take some cotton pads and your neutralizer is just going to take away that tingle now okay get your skin back to its normal ph so open up your wee bottle pour some on cotton pad and then you're just going to swipe this over everywhere you put it so you can feel it nipping again that's absolutely normal okay what it is just kind of activates it again but it will settle so make sure you're really putting this everywhere everywhere you've applied the peel and then if you need to take more just keep doing this until it's not really sting like stinging or tingling anymore so once all that's off what you need to then do is make sure that all the peels off your skin so you need to go and cleanse your face again it doesn't matter what cleanser you use just make sure it's not an acid based one okay something gentle something natural it's not going to irritate your skin a wee bit more cleanse over your face pop some hyaluronic acid on if you've got it or just pop some moisturizer on top third peel that we're going to go over is the acne peel so this is brilliant for anyone that's got really oily skin or acne, active acne. So I tend to use this skin on myself because I've got a very oily T-zone. Um, it is salicylic acid-based uh, peels, which is one ingredient that everyone should be using if they do have breakouts. So this one comes in your wee pot and you'll get your brush with it. Sometimes they're like little black ones as well and your neutralizer as well. So your salicylic acid is a very hot feeling on the skin. So don't worry if you are a bit like, oh, it's a bit nippy when you first put it on. Just really build up slowly with this peel, okay? So just start on um, a minute at a time. If you feel like, oh my God, this is fine, then just keep going, keep going. But sometimes when you first put it on, it is actually really nippy and then it kind of calms down. So literally just get your brush, dip it into your wee pot. And then pop it on your skin. So just a thin layer, don't need to apply it too thick. Just remember as well, if you have got those dry areas or those broken open skin spots, please put Vaseline on them. Around the nose, if you feel like you're quite sensitive there, pop some Vaseline on. Same with your eyebrows, if you've got them tattooed. Even though we're not going over the eyebrow area, we just want to make sure that we're not putting the peel on top by accident. So I can feel mine's getting a bit hot now. I do do this peel and a lot stronger ones quite regularly to my skin. So I am used to it. 
You can bring it down further if you need to, if you've got breakouts anywhere. You can apply these peels anywhere to your body. Um, they're absolutely fine to do that. So I'd say this can be left on for 10 minutes, um, but just build up. See how your skin reacts to it. If you feel like it's burning, please don't leave it on. Um, just don't do it to your skin. So leave it on for about 10 minutes and then what you need to do is wipe this off um, just with like a cloth and um, get most of the peel off and then go in with your neutralizer. Okay, so once that you wipe that off your skin, you then want to go in with your neutralizer. So take your wee bottle, cotton pad, pour some on and then just swipe over your face. So this can feel a bit warm again while you're doing this, but it will calm down. Just keep rubbing all over the area. Be quite firm. So with this peel, with your acne peel, you will get drying. And especially in any areas where you have acne, um, that is normal. That's what you want it to be doing. You want your skin to be drying out. So you will get that kind of tight feeling and dryness. Do not pick any dry flaking. Just let everything dry out naturally. So you can keep putting more on neutralizer if you feel like you need it. Just make sure your skin feels comfortable. And if you need to cleanse it, gentle cleanse again, just to remove any excess. So with this peel, um, your skin can become very red. Um, do not worry, that is normal. Um, my skin's not too bad, as I said, because I use salicylic acid more or less every single day in my um, face washes and I use other strong acids daily. So I can feel it though, like here and obviously around here because this is where I did burn. I probably shouldn't put it here, but hey ho. Um, so yeah, so you, everyone's skin re responds differently. The first time you use um, a chemical peel, your skin will react a bit differently to then if you're using it for months. So yeah, just play it safe. Go so aftercare for both the two chemical peels. So that is your all rounder peel and your acne peel. Um, the aftercare is very much the same. So you can do these peels every two weeks. Don't do it any sooner. Um, your skin is constantly renewing. So do not do it any sooner than two weeks. Um, that's how long your skin really takes to get back to normal. Um, it can take longer if you still feel like you're a bit dry, but sensitive then just wait a bit longer to do it. But yeah, two weeks, every two weeks is uh, the maximum you can do the peels. Make sure you're not using any harsh products, any harsh chemicals beforehand. So stop any retinols, stop any acids, um, any anything strong at all. Um, roughly three, four days beforehand. And then don't use anything like that three, four days after you've done your peel as well. Um, everyone's skin's different, um, but just be really cautious what you're putting on your skin before and after. Um, also no sun, um, the weather has been quite good here lately so don't sunbathe if you are in the sun make sure you're wearing a really high SPF, that is an SPF 50, everyone should be wearing an SPF anyway, um, so yeah make sure you are covering your face up when you're outside. If you do experience any drying, um, do not pick your skin, let it kind of fall off naturally, um, you can put um, natural products on. Um, let me just go and get my one. Okay, got it. So um, if you have really dry patches, you want to just be moisturising. You don't want to put anything uh, like really perfumed or anything horrible on your skin. So the one thing I recommend everybody that gets chemical peels and um, has dry skin, really dry skin, like I mean that flaky, really horrible, rough kind of skin, um, is this. So there's two. This one is a light one because I've got oily skin and there is the normal one, um, which I had somewhere but I can't find it. Um, I didn't really use it anyway, but this one is really good. That's how I like, healed all this within a couple of days. This is the Wellida Skin Food. So you can get this online uh, from Holland and Barrett. It's really cheap and it smells amazing as well. So literally... You can just pop this on any areas um, that you feel like you have got really dry just to heal them. Um, or if you do have really, really dry skin, please buy this. It is amazing. Hope that all makes sense. If anyone has any questions about anything or doesn't understand anything, then please just let me know. It is pretty easy. Just make sure that you follow the step by step for your correct peel. And please listen to the aftercare as well. It is really important.